emails of inquiry, or making requests. Email organization. There are several parts of a business email. First is the email address to whom you're writing. Then the subject of your email. For example, product price list. You start with a greeting. For example, Dear Ms. Sanchez. Then comes your introduction. For example, it was a pleasure meeting you and hearing about your business last week. I'm writing to request a price list of your cleaning products. Next comes the body. For example, our doggy wash business is looking for new products. We need shampoos, conditioners, brushes, combs, nail clippers, and scissors for customers who wash their pets in our self-service doggy wash. Finally comes your conclusion. Thank you for sending me the price list. I appreciate your help. You end with a salutation, for example, sincerely. Then comes your name and maybe your contact information, like your address and phone number. How to begin your email. Greetings. Let's look at some guidelines. You may or may not use dear. Dear is formal. For example, you may just say Mr. Sanchez or Dear Mr. Sanchez. You can use a comma after the name or you can use a colon after the name to be more formal. Use the first name if you know the person and are used to calling them by their first name. For example, Luis. You do not need a name if you do not know the name of the person you are writing. In the first paragraph, you begin your request. You tell why you are writing. Remind the reader if and when you talked with them before. The language to use might be, it was nice talking with you on the phone last week about. State your main idea, your inquiry and or request. For example, I'm writing to inquire. Be specific about your request. For example, I'm writing to request or I'm interested in finding out. In the first paragraph, you also make the request. Be specific about your request and keep it short. Could you send a current price list for your dog grooming services? Please email me a catalog of your cleaning products. In the second paragraph, you give information about your needs. You give a little background information. This will help the reader understand which products and services might be best for you. Keep the paragraph short and focused on your needs. For example, our doggy wash business is a self-serve business and we are looking for top selling shampoos and conditioners for our clients to use when washing their pets. Our clients are also interested in high quality grooming tools such as brushes, combs, nail clippers, etc. In the third paragraph, you're concluding your request. You want to show appreciation. Say thank you. You may say appreciate. You may restate what you need. Let's look at the grammatical structure. For example, thank you for your plus a noun. Thank you for your help. Help is a noun. I appreciate your plus a noun. I appreciate your help. You can also use a gerund. A gerund is a verb 
plus ing ending. Thank you for plus a gerund. For example, thank you for helping me. Helping is a gerund. Thank you for sending me the information. Sending is a gerund. You can also use appreciate with a gerund. I appreciate your helping me. I appreciate your sending me the information. Ending your email. Salutations. In email, you do not need to always end with a closing phrase. You can just write your name. For example, Teresita. You can just say thank you plus your name. Don't forget the comma. If you started with dear, you may want to close more formally with sincerely or regards. Don't forget your commas. Let's review the email organization. Parts of a business email. The email address. The subject. You start with a greeting. In the introduction, you give your request or your inquiry. The body gives a little background information. Your conclusion thanks the person and also tells you you appreciate their help. You can end with a salutation. You should give your name and maybe your contact information, like your address and phone number. That's how you write an email of inquiry.